Welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be looking at the Rhino Beetle boss fight in Small Lands Survive of the Wild. So there's a couple of items that you're going to need and uh, which are pretty much required for this fight to make it a lot easier. Firstly I'd recommend a spear as the weakness for the Rhino Beetle is piercing damage so I'd highly recommend using a spear of your choice. I use the flint spear. Next up is I'm using the stone armor because this is just the armor I had available at the time. The stone armor actually gives you PS resistance, but it reduces your movement speed. Not by much, but enough. You could replace this and go with light padded armor for movement speed bonus. Next up, I'd highly recommend getting the apothecary table so you can craft yourself health elixirs, which are really cheap and you get 20 health over three seconds. And it will require two nectar, one petals and one seed oil. These can be placed on your hotbar. Now that you got yourself some armor, a spear and some health elixirs, now is it time to go to Scardi so you can pick up the quest to take down the boss. So the Rhino Beetle has a few attacks you want to dodge. The first is a slam attack where it'll throw itself up into the air and then back down to the ground. This can be avoidable somewhat if you roll out the way by hitting control and the direction you want to move at. And the next attack is this charge attack. It'll just run across the map. It'll, it done minimal damage but obviously we had stone armor on. This is actually a really easy fight if you can time your rolls out the way. So you can negate the damage. We had four health elixirs each. Which was more than enough for this fight. As the flint spear absolutely destroyed this rhino beetle. Once you've taken down the rhino beetle, you want to head back to Scardi to hand the horn in. If you are playing with a group of friends, only one horn will drop. So if multiple people have got that quest, only one person can hand it in. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you've thought of this boss fight. And subscribe to the channel if you're new around here so you don't miss another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon.